How do jellyfish survive without a brain? Jellyfish are some of the weirdest animals on earth, having many disadvantages compared to others in the animal kingdom. For example, they are composed of more than 95% water, they do not have any blood, they are brainless and are also heartless. However, despite all these challenges, jellyfish have been able to populate our oceans for more than 600 million years, making it one of the oldest living species on our planet and predating the dinosaurs. In this video, we will discover how they survive without a brain, how they sting, and explore the many other superpowers of this fascinating animal. So first of all, how do jellyfish survive without a brain? Unlike most animals, jellyfish don't rely on this complex organ to survive. There's, there are also other animals who can survive without a brain. For example, starfish, sea cucumbers, corals, sea sponges, and urchins. So instead of having a normal brain where all the neurons are connected together in one organ, let's say, where they're all together, jellyfish have two nerve nets, which means that the, the neurons aren't all connected in the brain. They're a bit all over their body. So they have two main nerve nets, the large nerve net and the small nerve net. The large nerve net mostly controls the jellyfish's swimming, and it also contains structures called raphalia, which help the jellyfish sense chemicals, light, and also get a sense of up and down. However, the small nerve net helps the jellyfish figure out where its different body parts are. So jellyfish have three main body parts. The first body part is the bell, which, is, um, which has a liquid called mesoglia, which is more than 95% water. That's where they have also their very basic digestive system. Actually, their mouth is also their anus. The second body part is the oral arms, which they use to move captured prey into their mouth. And the third body part is the tentacles, which we are about to talk right now. How do jellyfish sting? Uh, on the jellyfish's tentacles, there are stinging cells called cnidocytes. And inside these cnidocytes, there are organelles called nematocysts so it's the little harpoon you can see here and how it works basically is when um, the lid of the stinging cell so the cnidocyte is touched seawater will go into the cell seawater rushes in and then the nematocyst so the kind of harpoon gets out penetrates its victim and will inject its venom that is one of the fastest biomechanical processes on Earth. It only takes one millionth of a second. And it can also be a very dangerous venom because one of the deadliest venom on Earth is produced by a species of box jellyfish, uh, the most venomous sea creature, and it can grow up to three meters long, which is 10 feet long and it could kill a human in under five minutes. Now, let's discover the other superpowers of this fascinating animal. Like I already mentioned earlier, jellyfish are really special creatures and there are more than 2,000 different species of this animal. There's, one, there's two species I'd like to talk about. The first one is a very, very special kind of jellyfish. It's the Turritopsis dorni, also known as the immortal jellyfish, which is, as you might have guessed, a jellyfish that theoretically never dies. It's only 4.5 millimeter long, and it can reverse its life cycle. Instead of dying when facing a physical stress, it shrinks in on itself and becomes a cyst. Then the cyst will develop into a new polyp from which a new jellyfish can thrive. The second species I'd like to, I'd like to talk about is the lion's mane jellyfish, which is the biggest jellyfish on earth, and it can grow up to 35 meters long, which is 120 feet long, which means that it's longer than a blue whale, and it makes it one of the longest animals on our planet. It's the end of the video. I hope you've really enjoyed it. I hope you're now really interested about jellyfish, just like I am, and have a great day.